Attorney General Anil Nandlal has explained that a delay in auditing the U.S. $9.5 billion in ExxonMobil's expenses was in no way a failure or resistance by the government. He said when capacity is built, the audits will take place. The impression that is being conveyed is that the government has assumed an absolutionist position that we are not going to audit, that the government will not audit these expenditures. And that is farthest from the truth. The audits were supposed to commence under the APNU AFC government in 2017, and they were not done for the period and they remained in government until August 2020. The PPPC government, while in opposition, was very critical of the then APNU AFC coalition's failure to conduct the very audits. So for three years, there were no audits. We got into the government and we said that we are building local capacity to do the audit. And we are in the process of doing that. ExxonMobil is not disappearing anywhere. The expenditures that they have submitted are not going to vanish. They are going to be there. And when that capacity is built, we, the, the audits will take place. The Attorney General said it was duplicious to offer criticism when there is simultaneously a call for local content. Do you have an idea what the audit fees for this exercise? Why should that not go to Guyanese? Why can't we wait to build a consortium of locally qualified persons competent enough to do this exercise? Would it not be better or you want us to bring foreigners when they do the work, they charge the money and they go with it? We can't be inconsistent. We have to be consistent on these matters. Nandlal reiterated that the government remained committed to conducting the audits as part of its obligation and duties. He said the government is involved in a process by which local auditors will be identified in due course and the audits will be done. Vice President Dr. Bar Jack Dio had already put forward similar reasoning for a delay in the audits he once called for while serving as opposition leader. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.